How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. I'm your host Corban Gaming and today we will be going through the League Bets for Osiris League Semi-Finals. So we've made it all the way to the Semi-Finals already and uh, let's see what are the alliances that we have left to bet on, okay? So before we go through that, let us take a look at last week's wager. Okay, so I sort of recovered from my bad luck uh, two weeks ago, okay? I managed to win all of the bets. Uh, NBA 1 obviously the safer bet here, uh, NCD obviously the safer bet as well. FN versus 1341, I've been watching that match and it was super duper close. To be honest, I expected uh, FN to come out like way on top but uh, 1341 really really strong team as well and uh, it was a super close match, came right down to the wire and uh, in the end FN did manage to pull out the win, netting us quite a big profit of Oryx, so really nice there. And of course, 411k versus Dream League. Unfortunately, Dream League just couldn't overcome the huge power difference that 411k had, and 411k actually managed to pull out the win. That being said, um, I actually did think that Dream League stood a pretty good chance, uh, simply because there were more experienced players there. Even though 411k they had the higher power, but I do believe that Dream League actually had the more experienced players. And when it comes to Osiris League, power only gets you so far. Um, experience and strategy is uh, really the two things that will get you really really fine or seriously okay so let us take a look at this week what we have left to bet on okay so NCD versus FN the first match both come from the same kingdom 1331 and I would say that <clears throat> both are extremely strong and extremely organized teams you can see here um, NCD uh, they managed to pull out uh, victories for all of their past matches and so did FN. FN did come very close to, to 1341, you can see here. And FN, in terms of power, they are slightly stronger, but I think NCB has the more experienced players. NCB originally came from Kingdom 1118, uh, okay, so uh, they actually are migrants to the Kingdom 1331. A large group of them actually migrated over and if you go and see the Osiris League in the other realm, you'll find another NCB there also which is their original alliance. Of course that alliance is already out, they got eliminated by JWM but uh, you know this, uh, their main power force is uh, right now here in 1331. So this match will be very interesting even though FN is 1331's uh, main alliance, I I'm not sure, I do think NCB stands a really good chance of winning FN right now and looking at the prize pool, yeah it's not looking like it's a really good bet right now, okay. Uh, honestly, I don't know what to bet on, I'm inclined to go for FN because I think that uh, even though they are not as experienced as the folks over in NCB but uh, the power difference coupled with that, their strategy is not rubbish either, their, their, their strategy is still really good so I do think that FN will actually pull out on top for this one and uh, this match I am not very sure so I will just put <laughs> this seems like a stupid move guys what the heck uh, I don't know man I, I'm really unsure for this match in fact both matches I'm not really sure and I'll go through why for the second match we'll just put 3000 here the one to play too risky haven't started buying anything from the shop yet except for these two blueprints and this uh, AP pot but we will get around to buy, clearing out the shop soon hopefully we'll have enough to clear out the shop by the end of this uh, Osiris League okay NBA 1 versus 411k you can look at the power here uh, come on 3.3 billion versus 3.2 billion so NBA 1 actually has a slight advantage and on top of the power advantage NBA 1 definitely has the more experienced players and have more experience uh, playing in Osiris League as compared to 411k which is still rather new and I must say they've done really well for themselves as new players and I am really impressed with 411k not only do they have the power but they have the strategy to back it up that being said Dream League which is like uh, how many 700 million power behind them they actually got pretty close to 411k only 4000 points away it's probably just one arc away i don't know i didn't watch that match but uh the fact that dream league being experienced players and a 700 million power difference they managed to pull the match that close makes me inclined to think that nba1 will actually take the win here um nba1 did not pull out fantastic scores against other uh 
very well organized alliance against their own it was only a 5000 point lead against riot which is also another really strong really well organized alliance also 5000 point lead only and against 1v which is obviously a very strong and very organized korean alliance it's only a 9000 point lead it's not a complete trashing by any means but nba1 did pull out the win um 411k on the other hand they did manage to trash most of their previous opponents here see 55k to 25k 51k to 22k overall 411k did manage to pull out quite a big lead but i'm uh i would think that tmd at and 92kw is not as strong of an opponent as compared to riot and nba2 okay and league is definitely i feel is a stronger opponent than 1v so uh, who will actually take this match? This is very interesting. I'm inclined to bet on the experienced players. I do know some players inside NBA 1 and I do think that they have what it takes to win it. So I am actually going to go uh, all in for NBA 1 because I do think that they are the all-star team and they will uh, eventually prevail. You know, So let's go 6,000 Oryx here. And the other 2,000 of my Oryx, I think I will play it safe and probably just keep it with me. I may you know be a bit naughty and my fingers might itch in the last few days i might actually dump some more in the other two matches but yeah these are my two predictions and my two bets for this time round's semi-finals okay um just so happens that my uh eye for talent i also have uh both uh nba1 and fn uh, having marks of the champion so i would say my prediction is pretty good so far and uh, NCB, if they pull out the win, then this will be out. And 411K pulls out the win, then uh, yeah, it will be a big loss for me here. So, all in all, I think this will be a really interesting match. So, if this were to happen, then it will be FN versus NBA1 in the finals. And I do think that uh, between FN and NBA1, I do think that NBA1 will be the ultimate victor for this league. But we will go through the finals in next week's video. So, that is it for today's uh, ROK bet video on the realm of anubis inside of osiris league season 2 i hope you guys have enjoyed the video and if the video has helped you win some oryx please give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more of such future content till the next time i'm your host corban gaming peace out